All right, welcome back to the stream, and today is Monday, which means Demo Day. Got a whole host of these games ready to go. I am on a very tight schedule, though, so I might not be able to get to all of them, so we'll, we'll have to see. Anyway, first one we have today is one by the name of... Hold on, let me, let me get this tweet going. All right, there we go. So, first game of the day is a game by the name of Railroot, or probably it's Railroad, or Railroad. Is there a pronunciation of it that goes rote, so it sounds like Railroad? Anyway, this is currently a demo available on Steam, and it appears to be, from everything I've seen of it, a sort of railroad management creation game. There is a... There is a similar game to this that I'm thinking of called Mini Metro, but that one was more of a puzzle game. So we'll see what this one's like. This also does have a, road, a route editor, so you can like create a map. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the main menu here. One thing I am a little annoyed by is that you can probably tell on the screen, but like the text is very small. It, it's just it's doesn't it's not great to look at and read. Anyway, let's uh, hop into the tutorial since I am completely fresh on this game. Signal proceed to the train. Click the signal. Signal stop to the other train. Or stop to the train. Oh, right click. Notice the opposite signal does not affect the train. Ah, so it's only when it's going this direction. Blinking indicates waiting trains. Open the timetable for the station central. Receive the train COM 1021 to platform number 1. Select train 1022 from the station timeline. And platform 2. Timetail for the east station end to handle the waiting train. Receive on... Station 1. Set the switch divergent path. Dispatch it. Wait for the train to arrive at its destination. Handle the train waiting at Station Central. Uh, dispatch 104. To East End. Train arrived. Click the train reverse. Note that the train will depart from East End according to the template automatically, waiting for arrival. So it'll depart in a couple seconds. Oh, whoops, right. Handle the waiting train for the station central. Train received. Start auto routing. Finish auto routing. Target lock East End 1. Click the train and reverse it. Those are the absolute basics of how to control the traffic. Much more awaits you. Contracts, system upgrades, automation, etc. We reference you play the endless mode next. Okay. 
So instead of creating the map, it looks like this is controlling the setup for the map. Okay. Oh, actually, build your rail network from Empire from scratch. So you can build the map in this too. Let's try Prague. It's up to you now. Grow your railway empire from the scratch. Build up the traffic by accepting the contracts. Don't worry, we've already accepted a few to provide you with an easier start. Contracts will provide you a traffic. Accept them wisely and form your traffic with them. When you feel comfortable, buy new platforms and expand to new stations and accept contracts there. Deadline contracts you don't want to run. It's just part of the game. Oh, de oh decline contracts. Okay. So, accept on two... This is going to Bubney. So that's going to Bubney, then that's going to Dejvis. Oh, right, reverse. Okay. So we got a new one coming in here. This one's going... Wait, this one has to go to Docks 1. So it's going to have to go in here and then... Reverse it from there to head up into the docks. Reverse. Okay, you are going to Bubney. Then Dejvis. Okay. Stop and... Reverse. There we go. Uh, how do I unlock things? System upgrades. There we go. Automation. Can I control auto block? Basic dispatcher, basic tracks, interface. Uh, train level improved. How do I get... Stop and reverse. Great, it's automation, automatic routing. Chain UI routing queue. Auto reverse, there we are. Uh, not enough points. One to two recurrent contracts. Okay, well, let's try this one. Devish, Bubni, Devish. Recurrent contracts. Good job. You've accepted your first recurrent contract. Those will expand the traffic on your railroad network significantly, so pay attention to each one you accept. Uh, the first train for each contract is a trial train. Trial trains determine how much money you get per train based on how fast the trial was. Try to handle it as fast as possible to see the best reward. The trial train record will record its timetable. The contract will spawn a new train every 60 minutes when the time tape with the time table from the trial train. You can optimize or reject the contract later. Okay, uh, except on two. Let's 
So I've got to wait for this one to come through because this train's currently en route. Going to Bubney. Okay, hold on a second. This okay, this one's going to Docks. This one is going to Bubney two, and then back to Devish. Why is it locked? Why is this why is this locked? There, okay. Come on. I've got to adjust the timetable here. Wait. Bony two. Oh, wait. Wait, no. I go to the right one. Okay, so put this here and then have this one reverse in a second. There we go. Okay, this one is going to Bubney. Then to each one. Oops, no, I want to go this way. You reach the limit of five offered contracts. New contract generation is halted now. Do not hesitate to decline those you have no intention to run in the near future. Pay attention to the contracts reward and target speed. The reverse. Okay, uh, this is going to docks. Maybe I should buy some new rails or something. How do I buy new rail? I don't need platforms. I have too many platforms as is. What I need is new rail. Build a track. There we go. So if I build a track, I can take this track and, I don't know, where should I put it? I could put a track here and have it switch. I could have it switch, like... Actually, this might be a good idea. I can take it here... I can switch it off of this and have it come over to this spot. Because this this is basically not a useful swap. Uh, hmm. How do I do this? Oh, 
Oh, there's a track here? Is that what that is? I think that's what that is. There's a track here and I can't use that. Okay, so I guess I need to... Okay, hold on. Uh... God, what do I do with this? Can I... Okay, maybe I can buy... This... But then what the hell is this? What, the, what is this? That must be some kind of barrier that's keeping me from getting through here. Okay, wait, if I go, like, here, occupied or no, what? Okay, I'm real confused. I'm just real confused. Okay, uh... Clearly, I need a track here, right? How do I get that down from here, though? I'm... I'm extremely confused right now. Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's go back to main menu. Let's restart this one. Or let, let's try Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Okay, we got Riverdale. Let's have that arrive on number two. That's going to Benning. Riverdale. So, Riverdale comes out here to Benning. Then goes into Riverdale 3. What I really need is auto reverse. Okay, that arrives on Riverdale 2. Again, Benning and Riverdale. Okay, then this one's going to East Market. You've got the green light to go. Actually, which one's departing first? This one's departing first. Maybe? Okay, yeah, it is departing first. Perfect. All right, there we go. Uh, so I can pick up a new contract. Uh, let's see. Let's decline this one because I need to buy things. Riverdale, Benning, Riverdale. Just Riverdale, Benning, Riverdales. There's a lot of things that I have. Let's go with this one. All 
Alright, we got a new train coming in. Going to Benning. I need to cancel that one, turn that there. There we go. Uh, the timetable is currently open, I want to say. I'm not seeing anything else pop up on the Riverdale schedule. Yeah, so we're good. Perfect. Perfect. What do you mean, wrong platform? Oh, it had to go back to Riverdale to... Wait, what? Okay, wait, now I'm confused. Okay, accept this. Okay, you are going to Benning. You're going Benning, Riverdale... You're currently on Riverdale 2, Benning to Riverdale 3, yeah. Okay, hit that reverse. Oops, go there. There we go. And we got a while before anything else shows up here. What I really need to get is auto accept. Uh, that's freights. I need... I have greens. Automation. Automatic routing. Auto accept trains. I need one more. There you go. Experience points. Have you noticed the things? These are experience points that are awarded for non-delayed trains and can be used to unlock the system upgrades. Look around and be sure to check out the unlock descriptions. There are many of them. Some of them are unlocking new types of contracts, new types of elements you can use in your layout, or even upgrade to your dispatcher interface. To get the blank, unlock either one-off freights or intercity contracts. Oh, okay. Alright, so I got this now, which means I can set up... Automation, I can have myself auto-upgrade, auto-accept trains. Which means I can automatically pull in a train. How does this work? Okay, auto-accept trains is on that. This is the one that goes to East Market. And then, wait, it goes to East Market and then to Riverdale? Is that how that works? Can I also adjust the timetable? Oh, there's a timetable adjustment unlock. Shifting time, changing platform are unlocked by timetable adjustments technology and platform adjustments technology. Where is that? Train enter button, basic dispatcher, advanced tracks, corridor. Sensor arrival sensor. Green freights, uh, platform adjustments. Where is it? Am I blind? Basic dispatcher, unlimited stations, reverse upgrade, advanced tracks, corridor tracks, tunnel bank, basic tracks. Interface, train, enter button, station display, highlight, train labels, waiting, train notification. Where? Contract, commuter creation, time There it is, timetable adjustment. So I need to hit this first. Platform adjustments, then timetable adjustment, and then I guess that's it. So I just need to hit ten of these things. Okay, you are going to Riverdale 3. So, head over there. OK. 
Okay, uh, this one is... I don't know where it... There, okay, this one is going... Uh, Benning 2. Then Riverdale 3. I wish I could get them to auto-reverse, really. Got the green light. Hooray! Okay, you are going to same place. Benning to Riverdale 3. That's right. I forgot I had to push that button. Slight delay because of my mistake. Okay, you're going Riverdale to Benning to Riverdale 3. Same as usual. Okay, and you're going to Riverdale and East Market. Reverse. And you're going to go here. There we go. Man, I can really see how the automation helps with this once you get it going. Okay, you are going to Riverdale, same as usual. Just the East Market really is the one throwing me off. Let's see, can I? That's 10. Probably take new contracts. Rosslyn. I don't even have Rosslyn. reverse it. Okay, let's put the... Wait, I probably ha I'm gonna ha have another train pop in in a second, so... I've got some empty space I can use where I can accept that new train. Okay, you're going to here, as usual. Okay, now wait for it, and now I can accept this train, and here, Good. Okay, this one is going to east. It's going to Riverdale 3. Okay, that's a little tricky.
performance, average speed 24 kilometers per hour, 500 maximum. 20% mandatory, five trains. Okay, you're going to Riverdale, Benning, as usual. I really wish I had the timetable adjustment thing. It would be much easier, much easier to work with right from the beginning. Because then I can just move things just slightly over so I don't have to deal with this nonsense. Okay, you are Riverdale, Benning, Riverdale. As usual. And we have 10. So now I can get platform adjustments. Oh, Christ, it's hanging out here? God, I didn't stop time. I can't believe it didn't stop time while I was looking at the upgrades. Okay, so UI element adjust timetable. There we are. This upgrade allows platforms to be changed in the timetables. Done through modifications button in the train detail compartment. There we are. So I can actually change which time, which uh, platform they come in on. Which is very handy. So this one, if I had two Bennings, for example, I could have a route to Benning 3. So Riverdale... Okay, you need to chill for a second there. Okay, back here. We can reverse. There we go. I, I set you to reverse, god damn it. Boy, does this game need automating, automation quick. Like, it really needs you to automate stuff. Okay, this is going to Riverdale 3, as expected. Are going to Benning as usual. Okay, so now that we've got this sort of set up a little bit, I can take more contracts probably. Although I probably want to let, let let's go here. What I need to do really is I need to somehow let's see. I guess I can't build any more rails coming through here. Like there's nothing I can really do. I could like make another rail coming out this way and hook it into this section, but it's still going to have to hook into here at some point. <laughs> what I could do is I could actually have the ones going to East Market go through, like, an upper route. So they route through this way without with having minimal overlap with this section, so I can just have them sort of automatically pass through. Let's try that. Okay, now how do I switch? How do I switch tracks? Or how do I set these up to actually, like, connect over? Is that an upgrade? Train entry button, smart snack station, train labels, contracts, freights. Auto signal. Routing sensor. 
controls, auto block, station limits, new building element, tracks, tunnels. Um, also, I'll be back in just a moment. There's got to be a way to do this, right? Like, there's got to be something I'm missing, which I can just use right here. Uh, first, let's uh, let's buy this, I guess. Ta-da! How do I... Occupied or allocated? How do I... No destinations. How do I set this rail, though? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just real quickly let's go to the Steam page for this. This is Rail Route Steam. Why is it so oh this is the Steam page, that's why. The Steam page is noise that's very loud, that's what's going on. Uh video discussion uh make uh Yeah, track laying is crap is someone Simply click on the track you want to modify into a junction intersection, then build where you want to build to. You can also build from an empty tile into a pre-existing piece of track to make a junction. Okay, how do I do this? There's a GIF here. Okay, so you click on that, and then but it's huh? Oh, it's because this is currently being used, isn't it? So if I do this, and then I do this, yeah, that was it. Okay. So you just couldn't do that if it's on the currently active road. Ah! Problem solved. That explains it. Okay, uh, East Market. We've got this train. Let's make it set to Riverdale 1 instead. So East Market 1 will come through, head into Riverdale 1. Whenever that happens. Uh, Riverdale, we've got this train come in on... Let's make it come in on Riverdale 1. No, that's the one that comes in on Riverdale 1. I want the one that goes out to Riverdale 1. This one. Make this come in on Riverdale 1. There we go. And I could actually bypass this entirely by just having it go right here. Let's make this track go this way. And like that. Ta-da! So now I have a switch if I need it. But generally speaking... I can just have this go. And these ones can go. Now, actually, if I get that... Then I can start building... Controls, basic track, basic dispatcher, interface... Automation, whereas auto-reverse trains would be useful, but also automatic routing. Auto-signal is what I want to get next. So, 
after this one goes, I should be good to go. And reverse that. I really wish there was an auto reverse button, because that makes things a lot easier to deal with. Ta da! Efficiency. Now I no longer have to worry about that stuff. Uh, yeah? What? What's going on here? Why is it. That was weird. What was that about? Yep, good. Perfect. Wonderful. Alright, we got seven trains. Yeah, now I just need auto signals. Yeah, I just need auto signals for these two, and then I'm set for life. Oh, and you can actually reverse it just by right-clicking. Hey, nice. Riverdale 2, Benning 2, Riverdale 3. Perfect. So you got the express line between East Market and Riverdale. And... Actually, if I pause real quick there so I don't mess up by accident. Uh, automation. Auto reverse option. There it is. Let's get automatic routing, though. And also, while I'm at it, let's get freight so I can start getting these red points. Okay, so active contracts. These are the regular kinds. Let's decline this. D. Hmm. Let's decline these ones right now because I don't need to clog up my stuff when I have contracts I need to get. Create new contract. Ah, you can actually make your own. All right, so let's buy auto signals right here. These ones can just go right through. Works for me. I no longer have to worry about this nonsense. Riverdale Benning, or then Riverdale. Once I get auto-reversing trains, too, I'll be able to automate the Benning one, and I should be set. I need to move this back, like, by one, though. How do I get... How do I get the contracts I need for the other one, though? I need the other kind of contract, too. One-time freight. How do I get that? One-off freight contracts, huh? Contracts from the coach yard. So maybe I need to get the coach yard? Needs five. New contract type one directional contracts. Okay, yeah, that's something.
Yeah, look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, it's only... Ah, I see. So it's only specific ones. Oh. Okay, let's see. Can I get that coach yard? Coach yard. Upgrade. Build a coach yard next to the stations. Once built, contracts at that station without return leg will start appearing. Stable finished trains in it. So now I need to build a coach yard. Here. How do I get these? Hmm. Not unlocked, routing sensor, de departure sensor, arrival sensor. So I bet if you did arrival sensors, you could probably set it up so that when a train arrived here, this one would actually route automatically this way and start doing stuff. So let's see if I can unlock that next. Automation. No. No, I can't. Oh, God! No, fuck! God! Fuck! Damn, fuck! Fuck! God! Fuck! Just like that. Do you not do that? Now I have to do this all automatically, basically, or all manually. Okay, I got 20 grand. I still don't have any of these contracts. So how do I what do I do with this? Like actually what do I do for this? Like, how do I use this? Stable train zero, dispatcher commuter intercity. Do I have to unlock those kinds of contracts? Okay, there's freight, and then intercity. So if I hit 10, I'll be able to get this. Converts 15 green to one red. Huh? Uh, con oh, they're contracts, so they appear here, which they aren't. There are no contracts here. Hmm. So, okay. Uh. Oh, jeez. I've already spent this long on here? <laughs> Still no contract that would do it. I don't, I don't get it. 
All right, well, I've got to move on to a different game at this point. Um, let's just go back to the main menu here. So that is Rail Route. The idea is interesting, but right now it's very clunky to actually play. It's currently, it's not even in Early Access, it's just a demo. The game's not out yet. In Early Access, I hope they're able to smooth out a lot of this stuff. Oop, I got a thing on Steam. Anyway. Yeah, I, I hope in Early Access they'll be able to smooth out a lot of this, but right now it's, uh, the idea is good. Like, the idea of having these stations and these sort of... You have the set cities, and then you have to sort of build your network out. You get a lot of different things. You can automate this so you can create, like, a whole a whole thing. You can, like, mastermind this entire system. But right now, it's very clunky to actually do. Partially because there's no explanation of what you're even doing. Due to, like, there's just no tutorialization. And also... It takes a very long time to hit, like, true automation. Like, I, I don't know... I must have been missing something with the contracts for the one-time things, because I just was not seeing them. But, like, you do need... Like, if automation is part of the game, then I feel like you should be able to hit automation much faster than this. Especially since most of the time it's just me clicking around to change one button and then swapping things around. Like, a lot of the stuff I would like to be basic automation level stuff is locked behind whatever the cargo stuff is, and then any of the higher tier stuff is just sort of not there. Uh, it, either the tutorialization of this needs to be a lot better to explain, like, how to do everything, how to build roads, how to get the new contract types up, how to do the automation setup, that sort of thing. Or it needs to speed up the automation and make the actual game part of it, the actual uh, optimization of each of the levels. I give, it a, I give it a look. The demo's free, so maybe it'll do better than I did. Interesting idea. Just not there yet, I feel like. Which is good because it's not out yet. And if when it does come out, it'll be in early access. So keep an eye on that if you're interested. And uh, I'm going to move on to the next game now. Because I am on a tight schedule, and I spent almost an hour on this one. <laughs> so, uh, take that how you will. Alright, next game we have on the list. Is one by the name of Labrags. So this is a sort of... I guess it's made by a, like, university team. And it's a game... It's actually a free game. It's not a demo. You can go on Steam. This At least it's not listed as a demo. It's just listed as a free game. Go download it. Anyway, the game is a sort of... Puzzle game, I suppose? It looks like it's kind of, uh... You're taking, doing stuff in, like, a experimental situation, like a lab, sort of like a portal-type deal, but you play as one of these test dummies, and your goal is to solve the puzzle. By shooting your rag dolls and using those to solve the puzzle. Hmm. 
Now, I will point out... Whoa, fool. This, uh, this sensitivity seems quite high. Uh, interact is E. Vacuum object, left mouse button, right op mouse button is fire object. Respawn is R. Alright. Ooh. Little thumbs up. And there's my body. Oop. Okay, let's make that a little bit easier for me to jump onto. Ah! There's a checkpoint. Walk over to set your new respawn location to be here. Press R to respawn at any time, leaving body behind. I picked up a body. Press E to pick up and carry bodies. Press E again to drop your carried body. Oh, I've got five bodies already. Huh. How do I... Hold left mouse button to vacuum up bodies and transport them. Be careful, you can only carry five bodies at a time. Now how do I get out of here, though? Oh! <laughs> so let me see something here. Okay, so that's how much it moves. So if I go, like, if I move... Across my desk, that's like a 180, so if I go like... So, okay, one side of my mouse pad to the other is... One... Two... Three... I can't... Okay, so it's not mouse acceleration, it just has a very high sensitivity. Yeah, like, that's more reasonable. Whoops. Oh, let me grab that body real quick. What on earth is this? Danger, this machine has no brain. Use your own. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Literal companion cues made out of my companions. And by that I mean my body. My body. Okay, I think I can actually... Yeah, I can sh shoot out cubes. Oh, I can actually swap directly between them. I can actually swap directly between a regular body and a cube body in my gun now. Full body, cube body. Oh, thanks. That worked out better than I expected, honestly. Checkpoint, yep. Noise. The music is quite loud, though. <laughs> I have to say. Okay, let's uh, get a couple bodies going. Perfect.
guess I can use this to jump over it. Yeah, just like that. Haha! -ha! Hmm. Got it. Okay, try that again. Nope, try that again. I was gonna say, it's probably fine that the game is kind of like, uh, the actual physics of the models is a little janky, because... Yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's like, it's... It's... You can die constantly. That's the point of it. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Whoop! <laughs> okay, there's bullets! You wanna... thank you? Mm-hmm. I see. I appear to have died. Just instantaneous death. Nope, not that one. Yeah. How do I get up here? Ah, Q. Oh, no, don't tell me. Let's go. Ah, no, okay. I guess it probably just cancels it as soon as you get close enough. Uh, for a second there, I had Viscera cleanup detail flashbacks. There we go. Now, what do I do with this? Oh, okay. Well, it worked the first time. There we are. Oh, jeez, I gotta... There we are. Oh, no! Oh, God! Are you serious? Okay, well that worked. There, there was a body hanging out up there I just saw. Yeah, I just got an achievement too many turrets, which sounds about right. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey now, hey. R to increase inventory. Bounce body. Well, I don't have him unlocked yet, so I gotta... Uh, t flattens him into a trampoline. You know what? Sure. I feel like I'm about to break physics in this game. Ah. Well, clearly this was the way I'm supposed to go. Whee! Oh, eh, yeah! Sphere body, huh? Hey, look at this entire room I was supposed to go through. Uh...
Oh, there they go. Very slowly. Nice. Jump onto a sphere body to ride on top of it. While riding on top of a sphere, you'll be able to move onto spikes without dying. Okay, this is pretty goofy. Okay, I'm into this. <laughs> this is real goofy. And you can just go... Oh, so it's just straight up better than walking. Okay. Achievement, health conscious. Probably from completing the level without dying. Hmm, looks like there are going to be spikes on the ceiling if I go that way. Whee! Huh. Ah. Now, how do I. Ah, oh, bounce. Okay, no. Okay, how do I... Ah, okay, I figured. There we go. Well, that's clearly a danger floor, so let's just... What? Oh, God damn it. How did that... Uh, I must have moved the, uh... Yeah, I must have moved the cube over slightly. Yeah, I definitely moved the cube over slightly when I did that. That's what happened. There we are. And away we go. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got to get past here. Perfect. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, maybe not perfect. Whee! So this is going to be a bounce. God, that's right. I can't. Okay, let's just give myself a couple more bodies here. Whoop. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Pff, 
I just got bodied by the... Bro, okay. At least respawning's quick. Alright, there we go. Slightly easier if these things weren't sliding off everywhere. There we go. Hi. How are you doing? What? Oh, God. Did I hit it? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I totally hit it. Haha. <laughs> Okay, whoo, hey buddy, hey. Wee. Okay, what do I do then? It's only coming at me when I'm down there. Oh. Oh, okay, I got it. What a lot. Well, this is real goofy. Okay, I gotta wait for it to retreat far enough so I can make it to this fan. And bounce. Hey, yeah, got it. Really funny to see you do that, actually. Whee! Jeez, they're just loading up on these guns, huh? Whee! Um, hmm. Curious. Okay, well, there's where I can go. There's respawn over that away. Oh, you know what it probably is? No! There's an invisible wall there. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. How about that? This is a very weird looking area. Okay, um... Hmm. I can get over there, at least. Ah, there's a button. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah! That's two. Let's just make... Let's make this a little... No. No. Okay, how about this? There. Now it's safe. Ish. Probably still can die, though, just to make things easier. Alright. Um, where do I go now? That way, I suppose. 
Whee! Uh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. This is... Physics broken! Hell yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's go this way. Go this way. This way. I can land on one of my bodies. Okay, thanks for the help. Oh, there's one of my bodies down there just having a good time. I bet I can just... Nice. Aha, it's open. Alright, now... this. First, let's save. Make this a little safer to get around. Yeah, it looks like I missed. Sick. There we are. One more. Stopped it for a half second. You know what? I'm fine. Oh, no. Missed that. <laughs> okay, let's try getting up to here. And then do this. It works! Somewhat. Kinda works. And... On my body? Yeah! Did it! So that is Labrags from Salt Mine Studios. Like I said, just a small little free game. You can go check it out yourself. I believe this is a student team at a university, so this is probably a student project, but it's still fun. I'd love to see this expanded out into like a larger game. I think there are a couple games with a similar premise, but none with like the uh, the body like item mechanics. Like just you die on the spike, you use your body to get over the spikes, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a fun little idea. Go check it out. New game plus. Use this to play through the game with all body type unlocked for the start. Very cool. And you have a level select here too. Alright, on to the next game then.
All right, next game we have here is one by the name of... Let me just see if it can... Good, it does respect the front line, so. Don't care. Now, this one is a demo, but it's not available on Steam. You have to go to the HIO page for this. That's D-U-N-K-E-H-R by Fabio Fontes. He's been showing off uh, tweets about this game and another game he's working on called Shut Up and Drive, which both of those look great. So I decided, you know what? I'll check this one out. Okay, interesting. It doesn't use the D-pad for this. It uses the analog stick. Controls. Active. Remap button. Roll type. All right, well, let's try it out. Uh, let's do... This is a fight. There's two modes in this. There's the regular story mode, and there's like a fight du ma dual match mode. Let's try a, just a CPU, just so I sort of get used to the controls here. So I can pick Dunker or Connie. Get ready. Okay, now let's try again. Let's try doing the campaign now, just... That didn't help me learn the controls in the least. <laughs> Alright, stage one is a town siege. Let's do it on normal. So. Those scales have been inching their way here, taking locals as hostages. Among them, your youngest daughter. Hop was her name. Yes, that's the short of it. The Dukes of Keratin. Things are tense as they are, with the scale forces so close to the city. We have to push back. But our guards are best kept here, protecting their people. We'll have to rely on folk like you to keep them busy, at least for now. And my daughter, Hop. If you can so much as find out where she is, or if she's even alright. I'll see what I can do. My lord, they're in! They what? How? The main gate has been opened and a group of them made it in. Every guard within the castle walls is at the ready. The town itself is where things are ugly. How, how ugly? The lower district is in complete disarray and on my way here I saw them trying to get into the upper district. As good a time as any to get moving, I guess. How? Don't you... You hired me to beat the crap out of those scales, so off I go. And I'll be on the lookout for your kid. Thank you, Dunker. Good luck out there. Get ready. So this is actually a 2D like brawling kind of game. See, first in the job, and this is what I get. Could be worse, it could be two days from retirement. That improves my chances, right? Right? So move left and right, look up slash crouch. The jump is a Light attack, heavy attack, and then roll. Of course, I'm not letting you through. Or anyone for that matter. In case you didn't notice yet, we're under attack. If you really want to get yourself killed, you can jump over the wall using that tree. Be your toes. Check the command list in your pause menu. You can need to brush up on something. Do the stay. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like the kind of advice someone like you should know. Okay. Oh, cool, you can ledge grab. One of them's down there. Can't get a clear shot because of those stupid deck or terrace or whatever they call those. Oh, cool. I like how he actually gets, uh, like... Oh, you can do up attacks. Okay. Okay, so this is like a spear uppercut. This is like a straight uppercut. Got a low attack, like a sweep. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So you get a low stab and then a low, like, ground pound. So 
So you get a single attack in the air. Heavy attack doesn't let you do that, though. So with the exception of the down strike, the two heavy attacks don't let you do anything in the air. Ah, you can do a roll attack, too. So roll, and go, roll into light gives a kick. Roll into heavy gives, like, a sweep. There's no aerial, mo aerial movement apart from a single jump. Oh my, I've seen them get into this house. The people inside must be in grave danger. Sure, with the pointy stick, you can do something, right? You look tough. That weak roof patch. You might be able to break it open by tacking down while jumping. Ah, you can dodge with a roll. What? Give me that lizard tail. Yeah! I don't know what I got. Want to help me, guys? God, this is what I get for being so reckless out there. So much for becoming an adventurer like you. Oh yeah, arrow in the knee. If you enemies consecutively, you'll deal more damage. You'll know from the chain multiplier showing up on your screen. Or so I heard. The guy looked a little tipsy when he told me. How you doing, kid? Oh no, I'm not sorry for here. Have you seen what they've done to that guard? The other tree looks much safer. That fellow definitely looks stre less stressed than I am. I hadn't sprained my ankle getting up here. I'd try a long jump by jumping during a roll. But no, I'm going back down now. You get out of here. If they see me that that shiny armor of yours, they'll see me as well. Oh, okay. We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. What are you up to? I have to hide. Anywhere but do. Even that sewer one may be able to roll into. Better stinky than dead. Too bad I'm too pudgy to fit in. What to do? Oh, hello. Oh, cool. Ha! I got one. I can't manage to avoid the spikes as he fell down the pit, but I kicked him right back into them. Way out here, you ask? Well, you can't try to climb out of the pit by grabbing the few bricks sticking out of the walls. You can see yourself what happens if you slip. goes. Fury up. Hop on. Yeah, chicken. Or ostrich. Oh, the ostrich kicks as my heavy attack. <laughs> Get over here. of Sir Yif of Humpington, known for his both his bravery and fertility. <laughs> Get out of here, you little... <laughs> so 
Someone once told me they can't see me if you stand still. They're dead now. That's why I'm hiding instead. Oh, the ostrich left! Oh, well, I probably couldn't ride it further anyway. Oh, it looks like I actually got a parry somehow. Aha! Aha! So if you attack at the same time, you parry. Cool. Under construction. Fair enough. Wall meat, or barrel meat, I should say. Oh, shit! That's an alligator! Okay. Let's try that again, huh? You, you want to come back here? Stop, stop that. What? Oh, that's super cool! That's super cool! That's super cool! It's also like super damaging. Let's go. Ow. Whee! Yeah, I did it. That seems to be it for now. Looks like someone already inside dispatched the guards and lowered the gate. Wait, these clawed marks, could they? Oh no. Oh yes! Logan, what are you doing here? Those scales wanted to party, but they need a bit of help getting to the dance floor. You know how much I love helping others. Helping someone other than yourself? That's news to me. Now, now, don't care. We just happen to be doing the same job on opposite sides of this horrible ordeal. But since I'm feeling generous today, why don't I help you out as well? By letting me jam my spear between your ribs? Ha <laughs> ha, your words are enough to get my side split. I take it you've been asked to get the Duke's kid? You know, the old citadel the scales are settled in? After the canyon? They're keeping her in the nicest room that bundle of old rocks has to offer. Now I should be going. Someone has to report this whole affair to them. You know how it is. As if I'm letting you out of here with your yiffing skull in one piece. Using it as a... okay. My, my, you should watch your language. We have children nearby. Most of them should be dead now, but we can't be too careful, can we? 
What the? Learned a few new tricks, have you? The old Citadel, huh? For all I know, he could be messing with me, but a shoddy lead's better than none, I suppose. Worst case scenario, there'll be scales to deal with along the way. Part of the job, one way or another. Are you okay? I saw you taking some of them out back there. I'm fine. You can go close the gate. I'll be moving out. Out there to the farmlands? But that's where they came from! Exactly. This is a cool game so far. Alright, well I can't go any further than this, so let's try out... Hard mode, see how hard this is. Get ready! Kick-ass scale time, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but you're not passing. Not after all the trouble we went to deploy to shut the gate and deploy the pit trap. You want to make yourself useful? Go check on civilians or something. Oh, I wonder, can I? If I get up here, can I, like... Nah, no. okay. Nothing here. Where'd the ostrich go? Okay, come on, come on, chill, dude, chill. Chill, Jesus. Yeesh. It's time for this! General Skellington. A 
not really sure what that is. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a new Kami kind of thing. Yeah, I did it. Cool game. Very cool game. Nightmare. Oh, might as well. It's quick. Let's see how this plays. Get ready. Ho! Oh! oh, I have one health. Holy shit, okay. Also, while I'm here, what's my command list? Movement, move set, uh, front stat, downward sort of punt, but rolling. So, yeah. Four hit sequence, down while on the ground, upward stab, of course, can be aimed diagonally. Crescent, during a long jump. Alright, uh, unblockable, pushes enemies away. Parry, as you're about to get hit, stuns anyone with close range. Oh, after a parry. Full reach. Revolving sweep. Launches enemy into the air. While they're in the air, during long jump, unblockable and stop until you land. Batter moves. Launches enemies into the air. Oh, cool. Uh, up to seven hits. So if I hit both buttons with three or charge or more. Or if I do down. Okay. So press this during knockback, stuns nearby enemies, roll cancel. Oh! Wait, no, the roll cancel wasn't working. Uh, oh, a cost of meter. So none given, knockback and immunity. Knockback and immunity for eight seconds, still take damage. Okay. Up to seven hits. And that's just by pushing those two buttons simultaneously. Got it. Come on. There we are. Okay, uh, let me try that one more time. Oh, it's because you're a honey badger, isn't it? You're a honey badger, which is why one of your special moves is no fucks given. Okay. Uh, this isn't gonna happen. That's, uh... Yeah, that's... That's not happening. Oh, but now I can do this, so let's do versus CPU, and let's try out this other character's moveset. Shield slide. Hold R after a roll. Can slide over spikes. Cool. So get front slice. Can repeat it indefinitely while on the ground. Left while crouching. Or block stance. While crouching, hold to keep the shield up, can move. Okay, backward slice. Or upward slice. Stomp while in the air. Shield slice while shield sliding. Shield bash. R during block stance. Sounds like it does no damage. Uh, leap slice. Upper bumper is a launch remove. Delivers two hits instead of one if done at point blank. Bash slash. Two hits. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. During shield slide, up to ten hits. And shield slide is... I believe that it's a, move, it's a movement move, so I'll look at that later. Door slam special during block stance, up to four hits. Repel. Okay, so then shield slide is if I hold R after a roll. Okay, so...
Ow. <laughs> okay, I need to- uh, let me- Let me do the training mode for this, cause I- I don't- I don't know how this character works yet, so let's- let's try that again. Duel. Okay, let's do versus player. Might need to plug in a second controller. Oh, I can just do enter. Perfect. Here we go. Alright, so to do. That's super goofy. Should be doing shield slide up to 10 hits. I guess I need meter for that. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh, okay then. Okay, let's try this. Oh god, the game broke. The game broke. Um, I got a code error here. Well, uh, that seems like a good point to stop it. So let's just uh, abort that. Alrighty then. Anyway, that is Dunk Hair. It looks pretty cool. Like it, once you get into it, it feels good. A uh, little, little stiff on the animation endings, which I guess is fine because you had the roll cancel, but you, yeah, you, you just need to spend some time to get used to it. Very interesting. Check that out on itch.io. That is Dunkehr, D-U-N-K-E-H-R. All right, how much time do I have left? Um, I have enough for at least one more game, I think. Let's see how long it goes. All right. On to the next game, then. Alright, so the next game we have here is one called Little Ghost. And this is a bit of an odd... Doesn't seem to recognize my controller, hold on. Uh? Uh? There we go, okay, it works. Alright, so this is called Little Ghost, and it looks, it's somewhat of a, um, an odd little Metroidvania being made by... Okay, so I, I was trying to dig up a little bit more information about this game prior to this, and it looks like it's sort of a... It's being published by sort of a multimedia thing? They do a lot of, like, music, podcasts, books, videos, that sort of stuff. And I guess this is sort of... This is a game that they're publishing. It's made by a couple people who are sort of affiliated with that, I think? I can go to the credits here. Why is the X button the enter button? 
Anyway, yeah. So, um, there's the credits. You got quoted books and materials, which makes me think this is sort of a, like... I think this might be a sort of... I'm just going to turn the music down because it's a little distracting. I think it's sort of a multimedia thing where, like, it's pulling stuff from their publishing stuff. So you have music, you got the various podcast things, that sort of stuff is all sort of being tied together by this game. The idea is you are platforming in a Metroidvania style through the bookshelf which has come to life, which I guess is sort of their stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what to expect here. So let's, uh, let's see, controls. Action. Jump. Switch character, not in demo, item menu. So, action and jump are the two big ones. And then, uh, wazzed. Alright, let's try it. Okay, jump and float over obstacles. Stop your fall. Horizontal move side to side, hover in place, adapt. Now I think I can turn the music back up a bit. Alright, so let's try jumping. Okay, the action lets you hold, which is only for about two seconds. Okay. And let me guess. Ah! Okay. So because you're drawing, because you're drawing, you're weak to erasers, and also weak to pins for some reason. Ah, there's actually a little thing there. You got little little ghost fashions. Wow. I sure am glad to see you. Maybe we can help each other. Penguins talk. Oh, the little thing is talking. Okay. I'll try to keep you entertained with music and podcasts. And you can help me find some of the MP3s that I lost in that crazy storm. I've got 16 audio tracks on me now. And we can find 17 more as we explore the demo. So, I found out apparently this demo is fairly lengthy. I don't know if I'll play the entire thing. We'll see. My audio player can be ac accessed by scrolling through the items menu. Remember, items menu is opened with 5 key or B button on gamepad. Okay. Listen to each track as often or freak infrequently as you like. Just a reminder. My audio tastes are 17 plus as is this whole game. You, if you're a kid, you shouldn't even be here. doesn't get me claimed. Fuck, man. We're all We're fucked up. up. <laughs> all right, all right. A, a lot of what I was doing in initiation was really inspired by... There's something like bricklaying the bricklayer of the Gutenberg galaxy. That's what print is. It's one word after another after another. This was the first generation of consoles where you could really, really have a fantasy with the TV, like a, like in an intro. Our host, Andras Jones. Wait, Seth and Twig Palace. <laughs> Did you get a chance to meet someone you didn't know? Good, good. I hope that worked out well for you. Um, welcome back. Uh, in just a minute, we're going to have a film from Jake Kotze. And it grew out of studies I did. At yeah, that's good. I, um, my reading time is less these days, too. Cause you can't use a word that 
hundreds and thousands and millions of people haven't already used. I just want to check something. Is that actually Seth Green? Radio 8 Ball? Let's see. Radio 8 Ball. 8 Ball. Seth Green. I got Seth Rogen. Uh, Seth Green. Home Radio 8 Ball Show. Hosted by Andres Jones. Lobster Explained, who is next? Was this actually a Seth Green? Twig Palace and Seth Green. Yeah, okay, it's just, it's straight up a straight up a podcast. You can just listen to podcast and music from this stuff. That's very odd. I, I have to assume they have the rights to do this, but I don't know if I have the rights to play this. Our host, Andras. Yeah, that's Seth Green. Actually Seth Green. Cool. If you wanna watch if you wanna listen to a podcast with Seth Green, then it's there. Yeah, that's Seth Green, alright. Very interesting. All right, well, cool. Uh, I will elect to not use any of this for two reasons. One, I want to see if there's ambient music, and two, because I really don't know if I'm allowed to play any of this, and there's a good chance that this will be copyright striked if I play it. And I don't want to risk it. If it's not, then cool. If it is, then fuck. Uh, let's go. <laughs> is this my only... Hi. What the fuck? Okay, so here's the penguin thing. Uh, here's the penguin himself. Uh, there's my inventory as a whole. And there's a tarot card lineup, I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ow. <laughs> you didn't have to instantly kill me for that one, thanks. Oh, come on. Neurolux. Interesting. It's actually... This is, um... Binaural audio. It's actually coming directly into my right ear. I can even see it on the uh, stream thing. Uh, yeah, what's that? Yeah, now... It, so it was on the right ear, and now it's over here in both ears. Cool. Hold W or S to look up or look down. Oh yeah, uh, Band of Brothers, or World Brothers. I've seen that, I've been considering getting it. The big trick is it's, uh, very expensive, so I don't know if I'd want to get it. Or like, I don't know if it's good enough to get. I do love me some EDF. Uh huh. Ah, oh, crap. I was right there. Oh, God. I gotta go back here. I wonder. Okay, so it does keep playing the music and it is mixed so you can hear the music and the sound effects at the same time. That works. That I just wanted to check if that would be like overpowering sound or if it's just like ambient sound that mixes in with the stuff. That's good. 
Let's... There we go. This is fine. Ah! That's not fine. Okay, I can actually use the float to cancel my upwards momentum. Huh. What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I need more water. Ah, these are one-use platforms. Hi. As long as you remain a pencil drawing, those erasers will be your undoing. I need three items before I can help you. A spring, some ink, and the pen point. Is there a map? Okay, so you can't go any further than this right now. Spring some ink in the pen point. So the pen point is an item. Uh-huh. If you can help, that'd be great. Please bring this bucket of water to the fireman above. Be careful not to spill it. Ow! Rude. I wonder how those work. Are they timed or what? Careful now. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, I don't think they're timed. I think they are just multiple. If you turn around on it, they do something. No, it's definitely timed. Definitely timed. It is absolutely timed. So you gotta... Get off of those matches real quick like. Oh, come on! Woo, that was close. There we go. Thanks. This should let the other fireman know. Please let the other fireman know I got it. Thanks. Now I would love it if you could tell the rich guy to go fuck himself. It was his cigar that started this blaze. Which rich guy? I gotta go find him. What? Hi. Ow. Mm -hmm. Vitriol. I'm very confused. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, 
Maybe I can just... Okay, that worked. What the fuck was that? Was it soda? It looks like soda to me. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh. Hi, Crab. Oh, it looks like a hand. Anything down here? Uh, just a bunch of pot. What is that? This is a very bizarre game. A village. Departures. There's a laser beam. Ah, uh, yes, the traditional laser beam. What the? Ah, oh, I see. You needed to... There we go. Problem solved. A key. I got a key. For what? Who knows? Hi. You having a good time there, bud? You look naked. But a key help. Ah, oh, damn it. The doctor says I'm suppo suppressing or repressing my lower nature. I like to think I'm keeping monsters out of the village. Sure, bud. Whatever you say. What was that noise? Okay, so I gotta go through here. And get a second key. This is a very strange game. It's a very strange game. Can't get there. I, I actually can't get there. I need to... Oh, there's a platform! I'm blind! Alright, and we're back here. Still don't know where I'm supposed to take these keys, even. What am I supposed to do with this? There we go, I got the key. God damn. They're on a different timer. They're not synced up perfectly. go okay we got diamond and spade which means I'm missing two keys probably that's what I'd guess I just don't even know where these keys are supposed to go <laughs> I'm picking these keys up out of habit more than anything. Oh, that's cool looking. Uh, this looks like somebody's, uh... Comic... Oh, god damn it! Ah! I was right here. I was already here.
No, that's not high enough. Ah. Go. Two. Still need to find the club key, I guess. Because the what what's over here? It's not the spade key. It's the oh, there's the club key. Just gotta get through this next one. Here we are. Okay, now I need to get the club key in order to get the diamond key. Go. Okay, which means I need to get all the way up there, huh? Alright. Oh, come on. Got it. Oh, oh my god. I almost ran into that. Oh. Thank god. Okay, so let's let's take a look at these pictures, huh? You start from like very basic drawings. Sort of very basic comic style. Goes to a little bit more advanced. More advanced with like effects and other stuff. And then you get full comics action. Ah, oh, I got an MP3. Well, let's take a look at what I got. Of course, it's a song called Lasers. Oh, this is a little tiny, tiny gear. What am I supposed to do about that, huh? Oh, uh, we got dialogue. We have characters. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Ow. Rude. Oh, why? That looks so friendly. That little smiley face on it. Why would it hurt me? See? Look at that little face. Why is that why is that hurting me? Aha. Uh -huh. So there is a what appears to be a blind rhinoceros blocking me from getting further. Got some doodles here. Oh, come on. Ah. So I need, it has a very specific timing, it looks like. I need to hit it 
a cure, and then... Yeah, I got it. I got my key. And... Checkpoint. Here's the question, where does this go to? Got a little cloud. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Where is this? I still don't know where this key goes to. Maybe it's way further on, but then it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get it all the way back there. Are you fucking serious? Oh god. I don't think I can even get back there. Oh, I guess I could. Great Comet of 1881. Which I guess must have been... What would that have been? What was that? 1881, would that have been Halibop? Possibly. I don't... I don't remember when Halibop comes around. Okay, what am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> what are you supposed to do about that? Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. The hitbox on those are very large. Larger than I'm expecting every time I see them. <sighs> that platform is actually getting in the way more than anything. Nobody likes Medusas. Nobody likes Medusa heads. Nobody. Anyone who says they like Medusa heads is lying to themselves and everyone else. Are you serious? Is it for real? Timed. So not only do I have to time it, I have to time it passing by these things. Because those will just completely knock the platform out from under me, and... Ugh. Oh god, I made it! I made it somehow! Took a lot of hits, but I did do it. Now even more of them are up ahead. Oh, come on! Come on! Ah, 
Oh, I gotta push the box back too. Come on! Okay, please go. Uh, what? Come on, come on, just get, thank you. Uh, what? Okay, this platform that makes sense. Okay, figures, of course it moves too fast. There we go. And now, what do I even do here? Right, I've healed. And I guess go down. And... Yeah? Hi. Sorry. There are no f boss fights in this demo. Go ahead and grab your items. Cool. So now I got... Merkthon. And did I just see map? No. I got the ballpoint. <laughs> How are you going to do boss fights in this game, though? Whoop. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 Hi, are you somebody? The little angry man here. Little teeny tiny angry man. Are right, the pencil tip hit me? Okay, what's over this way? Maybe there's something else interesting. Are you. Okay. Let's try this again. <sighs> the parallax effects in this is also giving me like a weird feeling of nausea. It's kind of bizarre. Hey, it's, uh, it's... Are you serious? It's a lone fungus. That game I played the demo of and I appear to be stuck. Wow, that was annoying. Ah, so that must have been what that little pencil dude was. It was like another character. Ah, shoot. Okay, let's give this one more shot.
And now I'm here. I'm terribly sorry, that flash of lightning must have knocked the power out over here. Relevate is frozen and the latch above me got stuck too. Only thing is the steam pipes, so be careful as they're one-way travel. If it'll help, you can take my elevator pass, allow you to reset elevators from the lower position. Ah, uh, that must be the elevator. How do I get out of here? Huh. So we can go inside that picture. That's a nice little effect. I'd like if there were more parts of that, because right now it's kind of a lot of... Oh. So let's try going to the left from here. The hitboxes! The hitboxes! have over here now, huh? Oh, sick! The I key! You're supposed to get the I key all the way over to here? How? Like, unless there's a power-up you get later that lets you not lose items when you get hit. I do not see how you can do that. Okay, well, this place was pointless. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Lone fungus, there we go. Okay, let's get back out of here. This game really could use a map, though. Like, it's one thing if you're like... So, going for sort of like an abstract little setup is one thing, but if your abstract setup is your world map, it makes it very hard to keep track of anything. Like, I am someplace on the map, but I have no idea where. I got... Whatever that is. I have no idea what that is. I do not know what that is. Now we wait for this elevator to come back. Yeah, like, uh, when I saw this, I was kind of expecting more stuff that was, like, built into the levels, as opposed to being a platforming game where you're sort of jumping around on pieces of cardboard and whatnot. Like, I I'm... I'm interacting with the actual background very infrequently. It's just kind of there, and I'm platforming. Like, this platforming could have been done on any- Whoa, Christ. <laughs> this platforming could have been done on any background. It just happens to be a bunch of art and book excerpts and such. Like, that one thing back where I got the elevator thingy was actually, like, probably the thing I was looking for the most. Just something like you interact with the background itself as opposed to just sitting on the background. The feck was that noise? Uh, 
Well, I got the heart key, so let's see how this one turns out this time. Maybe I'll actually get to keep it long enough to get the heart door open, wherever that is. The fuck? Why? Oh, come on! Come on! Okie dokie. Let's try that again. There we go. Didn't really need abstract nightmare babies in my game, I don't think. Oh, come on. Okay, it's going to go down now. Yep, there it goes. There. At least I'm out of that nonsense. What am I listening to? What earth am I listening to right now? How do I get up here? I'll tell you, whatever I'm listening to, it's hard on the ears. Oh, there's a platform over there, that's how. What? It's a UFO. In the full game, this passage would take you to the main bookshelf. Which is, so, ho, ho, which is some whole other ship, but this is just the demo. So let me give you the bottle full of ink. You'd have found it there in the full game. And it's blocked off. Now that's great and all. Except I still don't know how to get from here to there. Okay, well, do I have my thing now? I do still have the ball of ink. Which means now I'm just stuck not knowing where to even go. Like, I cannot express... In... I cannot fully articulate how lost I am in this level. Like, where do I go to get back? Oh yes, it's past the Humpty Dumpty ch chapter. Where is that? What is the route? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, get off of me, you babies! Stop crying! God, that's an annoying sound. Okay, uh, so... I'll try and just reach the next area before I... Or call it quits. Did I even go this way? I don't- I don't know where- I don't know where I am. Okay, I came from this direction, but I do not know where I am. Like, this is- this is the kind of thing I would expect. Like, here, this is just background. What I would have liked is to, like, just lower this down a little bit, and walk in between the platforms. Maybe jump on that thing. Give it some more style, instead of just sort of existing with these pictures. Because that's- it's not much of anything, really. I don't know how much extra work that would be, I don't know what it would be, like, worth it at all. 
I just feel like that would be a much better... How do I get out of here? I'm stuck. I don't... I do not know where to go. Got the giant unicorn, and then you get here, and then, then what? Then I can't take the elevator. Elevator's busted. Like, this is the only way I could think of to get out of here, but I can't get out of here because the elevator's broken. That guy's no help. Yeah, I got nothing. I have no idea. I appear to be stuck. Oh. Okay, there's an MP3 back there. Cool. Yeah, like, this is the kind of thing I would have liked to see. Like, this kind of interaction, not just, like... Not just jumping around on cardboard. Well, let's see what I picked up. Eggshells. Don't know that song. That's probably where I'm going to have to stop, because like I just do not know where to go from here. I am completely lost. There is no kind of... There's no kind of obvious signage or anything that's telling me where to go. Like, there's the occasional sign that goes, like, go one of two directions, but that doesn't tell me which way to get back to the thing. There's no map, so I can't find my way back. Uh, the, the bookshelf passage thing would have taken me to the other bookshelf. Great. I don't know where that is in relation to the other place I'm supposed to be. Like, there's just a lot of problems with this game that are stemming mostly from the fact of how the game is designed. Like, the, the stylistic choices are whatever. It's just me saying, like, oh, but nice to have this thing. But this is actually, like, a problem. I think I'm stuck. And if I'm not stuck, I have no idea where to go. Like, the only other way I can go is into the, uh, into the UFO baby. The flying babies up there, and then that's, where do I go from there? Ugh, god, that noise is so annoying. Also, I wish the sound effects weren't this awful. Like, that is the kind of sound effect people use as mockery for, like, this is a terrible sound effect. This is not the kind of sound effect you want to use in your actual game. There we go. Alright, so we're back here. Okay, that's great, but where do I... How do I get out of here, then? I'm stuck. Oh, well, that's... That's, uh, that's probably a good place to leave that one. Oh god, I forgot about the music. Alright, so that is Little Ghost. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh... So the idea of having all the podcast stuff in the game and the music is interesting. I don't know if it's streamable at all. It, it, it's an interesting way to do it, and it's sort of... I get the idea there if they're trying to sort of tie in all their other published stuff to make it like a multimedia sort of nexus in the game, where you're just sort of traveling through all these other things. But the game itself has problems. Like, ignoring how floaty the controls are, because it's a ghost, whatever, that's floatiness. Uh, the hitboxes are a little wonky, I feel like. Um, a lot of the stuff is a little, like... It feels very sluggish when you're trying to dodge obstacles. Like, those lasers were kind of a pain. Uh, the level design is completely unusable, as is. There's no map, which means you get lost in the world and lost in the bad way, where you can't figure out even where to go. You don't know, like, where's your goal, where's your objective, where are you at any given moment. The abstract backgrounds don't help with that either. It would have been nice if maybe each zone was themed more or made it easier to determine what the theme was, as opposed to just having sort of a wallpaper made out of books. Like, it looks like a bathroom at one of those hipster places that just takes old newspaper clippings and puts them up on the walls. Uh, like something more thematically appropriate for each zone, maybe? Or, I don't know, uh... Just, just add a map. Just add a map. 
Uh, I wish there was more interaction with the backgrounds themselves. You talk to characters who are just cutouts. Uh, you jump on pieces of paper or cardboard. Like, you- it would be nice to actually walk through the platforms. Walk through the books that- or images that you're looking at. Like, uh, great, I jumped on a soda can, but I would have liked more to have jumped on, like, the pier in the background. Maybe do something to make it stand out more, or just make everything a background that you can jump on? It's... it's... it's iffy. I- I just would've- it's- it's got a bunch of issues in me that I'm thinking of personally. So, I don't know, it, it's... I'd say give, looking at it, it would be interesting as like a multimedia com combination thing, but the game part is sort of letting it down, I feel like. That's just my two cents. Alright, so... With that, I think I have time for like one more little thing, maybe. Let's uh, head over to that. Oh god, I need to get in my account login. Hold on. I don't even think I have my account login. I need a two-factor for this, aren't I? Yep, need to factor. Okay, hold on a second. Oh god, it still uses this thing. Ugh. You no, know, play it once and then never play it again. I guess I need to update my graphics drivers, too. Great. Alright, uh, is this gonna capture? Is this gonna capture? Yes. Good. Alright. So, Knockout City, published by EA. Game, something I didn't think I would say on this stream, which is in mostly like small releases or indie games, but this game has a free demo, and it's kind of an in independent studio, so I figured, you know what, why, why, why not try it out? Why not check it out? I've heard it's actually pretty good. I remember the commercial everyone was in up, up in arms about, because like... Oh yeah, look, hey, it's cool game. We're gonna have all these characters, and then it's just like weird Fortnite-looking dodgeball stuff. But let's check it out. Uh, Velen Studios, also fun fact, creators of Mario Kart Home Circuit, that weird Mario Kart game where you actually drive the RC cars around your room. 
So this is not going to be a long one. I'll probably have enough time to like get into uh, the tutorial and maybe like try part of a match, but I, I need to get going very shortly. So this will just be a quick check on this. So run to a ball, grab it, hold, uh, left click to charge up your shot, release left click to throw, catch the ball. Okay. from my station on the moon looks like we got a brand new brawler looking to make a name for themselves well the only way to do that is by winning dodgeball battles before you hit the mean streets you're gonna want to log into the radio bot for some in-depth training programs or hit up the target dummy to practice your throwing and catching don't worry about hurting his feelings none he loves this stuff I'll be here playing the tracks while you dish out the wax on your journey to be the best dodge brawler Knockout City has ever seen. Good luck to you, baby. You're gonna need it. Knockout City, free trial. Yeah, free trial. Uh, enjoy this limit trial up to street rank 25 and invite your friends to dominate your rivals in street play. Okay. What was that aiming at? Ooh, I need to turn up the sensitivity on this, though. Accessibility options. Use the social bar at the top of the screen to group up with friends. And always remember to open contracts Much better. to view today's challenges before you play. Uh, L alt to ball up. What? Excuse me? You can't really hold on to the ball. He really does, yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's right. You can be the ball, can't you? Because there was that thing where you could actually throw yourself- get thrown. Yeah, come on. Hit- hit me. Ah, so it keeps the energy. Interesting. Ow. Come on. Ah, I see. So if you get a perfect throw, it gets more power. Ah, okay. What do we got here? Multi ball. Ah, okay. Hot potato. <laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of stuff to deal with here. All right, let's go. Whee! Let's try this out. Go to training. Press space to jump and Q or E to do something. I don't know because it... When learning the basics of brawling, there's no place better than rooftop rumble. Learning how to run and jump across these rooftops could mean the difference between supreme victory and sudden vertigo. Find every radio bot scattered around the rooftops to learn all the core skills any brawler worth their salt will need to master. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Press G to drop balls, okay. Oh, you can glide. Whatever you do, don't look down, baby. What a tranquil rooftop garden. I wouldn't like Hold to lock onto opponents, release the throw. Trespassing. Oh, 
Ah, so you can air juggle opponents too. Press that to catch incoming balls. Stand in the circle in front of the target dummy to initiate its throw catch protocol. Ow, it's fine. Uh, whenever an opponent locks onto you, you'll see a border warning around the edge of the screen. The border warning uh, also show you the direction of the opponent. They're off screen. Oh, I see. So it's like a big old like lump on the screen there. Ah, and you can even get a little thing when it does it. Face the dummy. Okay, so you get enough you get enough uh leeway time, usually. Press space to glide. That multi-millionaire Malcolm Magpie has been buying up huge chunks of the city. Says he's uh, high wind. The place. Out with the old and in with the new, I guess. If you ask me, that kind of talk is for the birds. Need a ball? You can find them in designated spots like this across the map. If a ball falls at the level, it will respawn here. Try to find all five. Once you found all the bots, you're free to move on to the next training. Well, I'm done. So, next training. Hey, all right. Oh, be the ball. You Excellent. completed all the lessons and basic training. Welcome to Concussion Yard, a great place to learn how to be the ball. Let's be on the Follow lookout for new paths. Radio bot this around. Watch out for the wrecking ball. No time, you'll be your own high-speed wrecking ball. Hold L alt to go to the ball form. In ball form, you move by rolling. Look for spots to roll under. Other ballers can pick you up and throw you just like any other ball. Can't hold onto a ball while you're in ball form. So I can like roll under here. Yes. Cool. So it gives you uh, hidden roots to go no with. I have no idea what they're building here. Luxury apartments, uh, state-of-the-art You can pick up space. and throw other ball form players like Whatever normal balls. Is, Throwing players cause an instant range. KO if they hit. Oh, is there any West to write the name in? Okay. I love doing that. When in ball form, opponents can pick you up too. You'll be locked up in their hands and have to hold space to escape. What? Oh no! It's fucking dumb. Okay, sure. Just so you can throw a teammate for an instant KO, you can also be thrown. That's fucking stupid, but that's so cool. <laughs> Fastball special of the game. That's gotta be a mode, right? Only player balls? Hold left alt to roll into your teammate's hands to try an ultimate throw. When fully charged by a teammate, you'll be thrown high into the air. Control your trajectory, wazzed. You'll explode an impact, instantly KOing your opponents caught in the blast. Or nothing. Okay, yeah, okay. We tried to save the school. We even had a fundraiser right here on the station. Use emotes to communicate with your team. Brawlers can do against the mega millions of Malcolm Magpie. Press throw while on ball form to say throw me. What's up with this? Throw me! Throw me! Throw me! Throw me! You can also throw a teammate as an ultimate throw. Pick up this teammate and ultimate throw them by holding down thing until fully charged. Uh, yes, it is. Whee! Claim the high ground for a strategic advantage. Always keep an eye for high places to post up and see more of the map. Use your glider to get the drop on other brawlers. Be on the lookout for special balls that appear randomly from ball spawners. One is the moon. This one is the moon ball. While holding it, you'll jump like you would on the moon. 
You just completed the last training lesson in this section. Why not jump into a match and practice what you've learned? Open the menu to choose where to go next. As the saying goes, is there anything in the training menu? All right, my back. Let's see anything else in the training, and then I guess once I do that. Oh uh, yeah. You're at the knockout roundabout. Ooh. You'll learn how to push your dodgeballs past the uh, speed Overcharge. Limit. Overcharge makes the ball go the faster than just a normal full charge. You get overcharge in two ways. Receiving a pass overcharge. or perfect catching an incoming throw. Uh, roundabout's always busy. Cars will knock you away when they hit you, but they don't hurt. Oh, cool. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to play in traffic? <laughs> yeah, mine neither. Hold middle to charge a pass, then release to throw it. Adding... Passing adds a tier of overcharge, but cannot get higher than tier one. I'm gonna catch an incoming pass, no input required. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, you can even do blind passes. When you have four more tiers of overcharge, the ball becomes supercharged. It's crazy fast, but you can only get supercharged from a perfect catch. Caps out at tier six. Remember, you gotta stand in the circle in front of the target dummy to initiate its throw catch protocol. If you catch perfectly, you overcharge the ball and recover faster. Press it at the last possible moment to perfect catch. Yeah. Ow. It's not, it's actually a pretty wide thing timing wise. Like it's a pretty wide uh, timing window, although I am failing it whenever I do the second one. Yeah, okay, that's fast. This is a multi ball. Three balls for the price of one. Multi ball. You can't receive a pass if you're already holding a ball. Instead, the pass will be reflected back towards the original thrower. Oh, cool. Oh, that's super cool, actually. So you can just really quickly charge up your ball. Let's see, when you pass your teammate, they'll give you a heads up by shouting here. Pass to me. Sniper ball, absolute beast for long range combat. Holds a target opponent too far away. Keep holding for a full lock. With a full lock, you'll throw a blindly fast shot. Oh, it's a football. <laughs> That's the last training lesson in this section. I recommend jumping into a match while the lessons are still fresh in your mind. Open the menu to choose where to go next. Show them how much of a speed demon you really are. Okay, let's try this again. Wow. <laughs> Okay, is there any more training? Trick shots. Galaxy Burger is the hippest burger Press joint this Q or E to spin or flip. System. And nothing tastes sweeter than nailing your opponent with a perfectly timed curve shot right when the spinning door slides shut behind them. Follow the various radio bot instructions. Press F while holding your ball to make a throw. Trick shots or your money back. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> That's why they have the helmets. Uh, use them to trick other balls into dodging or catching, then hit with the real thing. Try holding. Okay, so you do that. Just like that. Okay, cool. 
Oh! Oh, cool! Cool! So you can actually do, like, a different kind of shot with that. Interesting! Cage ball traps people into ball form until a timer runs out. There's no breaking out of a cage by mashing. You'll just have to serve your time. Cage players can be thrown the same way as any other ball form players. Release throw immediately after pressing flip to throw lob shot. Release throw to do a Friday. curve shot. Ah, it's been years. You think they delivered to the moon? I I'll tip double. Wow, okay. That's something. What? Which one of you beat my high school? Everything spins a galaxy if burger, pads open and pads Earth, closed, so keep your eyes open. My throne. Moving and dodging, huh? Quitting time. That's the final training lesson in this section. Down here in back alley brawl, we're gonna have some real fun. Press you left into sprint. Up and hopping in those vacuum tubes for real uh, dodge ride. is control. Follow the various radio bot instructions and pay attention. What you'll learn here could mean the difference between Bomb ball detonates on impact and, and hits everyone in range. Ha! The yellow tube takes you straight to drainage. Watch your steps. Those pipes go on for miles and empty right into the ocean. Someone should really close that lid. Oh, you can dodge into a ball to deflect it. Okay. Uh, too late. Ah, cool. Uh, different attack person. He lost one's good to run. Right, so you mentioned that the other day. So you just did the numbers up for that? Brawling is dirty work, and this place is the best in the business at getting out those tough stains without fading your glow. And I'm not even being paid to say that. Here we are. What's yeah. here? Started to throw, but change your mind. You can cancel your charge. Dodging, catching, and sprinting will all cancel your throw. Oh. Okay. Hopping into the red tube will transport you to the noodle shop. They exclusively serve brawlers here, and there's enough of us to keep them in business for years. All right, anything else? Mention I sent you, and they might just throw in some extra fish cakes. Welcome to Knockout City. Now arriving at Jukebox Junction, the first stop for all brawlers looking to make a name for themselves in the big city. Here we're gonna learn the real advanced moves. Follow the very trains will KO you instantly. Use no trains to your advantage by knocking here. people this into them or sneak under them in certain spots with only. ball form. What do we got here? What happens when you throw past a friendly ball form player? You get an instant ultimate throw. Oh. That's dumb. That's dumb. Try getting past your teammate by to be instantly ultimate thrown. Here we go. Gotcha! Hey, if you see a cherry red guitar case with a bunch of band stickers on it, that's mine. They lost it here years ago. So are doing the spewing 40 feet, most likely targeting closest enemy to them. When lobsters boiling rage or damage only 10 foot or... Okay, yeah, so you just... Ba you basically just made the numbers up. You just, uh, get it instead of just being, uh... You, yeah, you actually said everything. 
Okay, uh, where's... What is this? Ultimate throws will bounce off of bounce pads. Huh. Yahoo! Uh, once you charge a throw, you may want to switch to pass. Press thing to pass. Way back in the day, me and my crew used to stand on those charging pads for warmth in the winter. It worked great. Just had to remember to jump off before the soles of your shoes melted. Alf. Different movement styles move at different speeds. Running, rocking, and running with wires are slowest to make the least amount of noise. Sprinting and pushing forward with gliding are the fastest. Ball form is a little faster than running. Okay, we're done. Now for a match. Let's go. Got time for one match before I have to get out of here. Maybe. Voice chat off. Gold team takes the lead. First to ten. Uh, we got a snipe one. Damn it. Thank you. Oh, come on. Blue team is falling way behind. Okay, let's try that again. I feel like noise isn't the biggest issue in this map. Get a ball. Ow! What? Who hit me? Goal team needs one more point to win the match. Did I get him? I can't tell. I think I did. Yeah, I think I got him. Well, it's a quick match, at least. Gold team wins. Wow, you guys were not doing anything, huh? I was number one on the team. How did that work? I guess I just didn't die as much as the other guy. Matchmaking. Oh, that was very quick. So I can do another one of those. Lobsters are killing themselves. They're raging away. Eat the meat. <laughs> oh, that's a good detail. I like that. All right. Uh, let's see if I can get another match in. Anytime now. Anytime. I'd like to start. I'd like to actually get in a match on the start. That would be nice. Yeah, that makes sense. I was actually. I'm actually a little surprised. I was expecting this to be a battle royale. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I didn't think it was going to be a uh, team based shooter thing. Maybe either. Oh, I'll take a look at the different modes in a second, actually. That's what I'll do after this next match. This city ain't big enough for all you. The winners can stay while the loser walks away. Good luck. Here we go. Multiball. Gold team versus blue team. Oh god, they've got a big guy. Like, the guy on the left is clearly someone who's played this a lot. Team KO. Round one. 
knock out more opponents than the other team to win. Okay, where are they? Gold team takes the lead. Special delivery! God, I could you threw me way too far away from them, buddy. Multi ball. Multi ball. Damn it. Ow. I got saved. Oops. Well, I think I don't know if I took someone out or not. It's hard to tell. Oh, there they go. The gold team is pulling way ahead. Off you go, boy. Ow. Rude. I forgot about the block. It's fine. We're way ahead right now. Whoops. That was a mistake. Multiball. Brown point gold team. Gold team wins. Hooray! I won. Oh, it's a round system. I got it. Major Lugnut. Redneck trash, eh? Round two. Here we go. Oh, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, made it horde enemy, which is just there to be annoying fire. Drown shamblers and tell them bond for mm, and more water. Like 300 or 400 at a time. Jeez. It's all tied up. Blue team takes the lead. Yeah. It's all. Oh Multi god damn it! This, I hate this Blue pit. Team takes <laughs> the lead. Uh, that was a mistake. I died twice in the same pit. Yeah, exactly. But it's all tied up. It's always goofy when you. The trick is getting there. You know. Ow! Fortunate. Ah! Takes the lead. I'm still not used to the catching part of this. It's all tied up. Blue team takes the lead. All right, there we go. Ah! 
Ow! What? I should have charged into him. There we go. Got a ball. It's all tied up. Multi ball. Yeah, there we go. Gold team takes the lead. Gold team needs one more point to win the match. Ah, that's unfortunate. Have a ball, buddy. Got him! Gold team wins. Yeah. This is a lot of fun, actually. Let's return to the hideout. All right, so I'm gonna just real quickly check on the uh, different game modes we have here. Yeah, I'd, I'd go for this game. Let's see, so we got play, fun variety of street play. That change out every few weeks, check out street play. League play is for serious competitors and it's only available during an active season and if your street rank is high enough. Okay. Private matches are for playing with friends only or even solo if you just want to explore this big beautiful city. All right, so we've got Team KO 3v3, 4v4 is there are no balls. First team with 12 KOs are in the round. Once you This is exactly what I wanted. There is no ball. You have to throw your friends. Perfect. Uh, KO opponents and grab their diamonds or deny them your teammates character throw for a bonus 30 diamonds win the round okay so it's like a coin collector and then party team KO all special balls all the time first team to 10 KOs wins the round okay yeah yeah okay I'm into this I'm into this actually I'm surprised I wasn't expecting it but I'm into this kind of feels like they're light on things to do though like you have 3v3, 4v4, 3v3, 4v4, or 3v3. So you got this one, which is the one I like. But I feel like this is... I feel like this, these two should be modifiers for the normal match, honestly. This one is its own game mode, and this is just the normal, you know, the normal mode. And then this is... League play is ranked, and then private is whatever. But I feel like it's very light on game modes. It's fun, don't get me wrong. But it does feel very light at the moment. Hopefully they'll add more stuff as they go. Uh, new maps are always interesting, but I don't know how much they'll add to the game mode if it's the same game the entire time, unless they add a lot to the, each map. Yeah, interesting. Definitely try out the demo. It goes up to rank 25, so you get a couple ranks out of that at least. Like, I'm... A, what am I at right now? I'm at, like level, I'm at three. And I played two matches. Let's call it one and a half. So that'll... Yeah, you could definitely get someplace with that. Very cool. All right, so that is where I'm going to call it for today. I have to get out of here about 10 minutes ago. So, yeah, uh, next week more of this. Tomorrow is going to be more near. I'm going to see if I can do the entirety of Route B in a single run. Probably not, but hey, who knows. And, yeah, all right. As always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the games with me. And I'll see you next time.